All right, guys, Chad here with Extras Trail Cameras, and today we're going to do a little bit um, a different type of video. So, first of all, welcome to the new office. We, it is still under construction, so you'll see um, a bunch of partitions and some walls and stuff being built, but uh, that's the reason why we can't do our normal type of videos. Our studio is not yet complete, so um, excuse the mess. But today, we are going to show you and talk to you about what actually happens when you use alkaline batteries in trail cameras or any device and they fail now we talk about it on the podcast we've written blogs or i mean we've been talking about batteries and the pros and cons of different battery sources for the last five years you know just in the past week we've got a bunch of customers inquiring about it a bunch of customers we got jason here somewhere where is he at right there um had a bunch of cameras come in with uh battery damage to them. So we thought it'd be a good opportunity just to show you guys visually what exactly happened. So we have this box set up, set aside where we can show you the result of batteries leaking. So you'll see um, this tray here and there's a bunch of different kind of corrosion. There's actually some water corrosion in here, or moisture corrosion in here too. But these batteries actually had leaked so bad in this tray and was prevalent for so many years, this has probably happened over a course of two or three years, that the battery acid actually ate the contacts off the tray. So you'll see the positive negative contacts um, and those negative contacts, those springs are actually eaten off the tray. And then, you know, you have, a, you have an issue where your camera won't power on. So that's what, we're, that's what we deal with alkaline batteries. So another example is a camera that we actually tore apart. Jason has a, Jason has this thing disassembled and typically we can tell pretty quick if batteries are leaking. So the back side of this housing, the shell, you can actually see where these batteries were leaking and then uh, cause that white staining. And there's actually like a powdery film on the camera um, from that acid deposit. And then as you open that camera up and look at the board, then you have battery acid you know, on the, on a lower assembly of these PCB um, boards on the switch and some other components. So, you know, alkaline batteries, you can use them again. We're not saying you can't use them, but when you do use them, you have to be aware of the issues that they cause and uh, the pros and cons to these, it, it's just so much easier just to use lithium batteries. You don't have the voltage, you don't have the voltage drop. Um, there's no, there's a constant discharge rate of, of lithium batteries versus the alkaline batteries. The discharge rate is basically straight down. Uh, you only get half the capacity because with the voltage loss, once you get under one volt um, or 1.2 volts, you know, you're not gonna have enough power there to properly operate the camera. Um, but the real challenge with alkalines is the resistance changing inside and then the, them causing problems such as leaking or exploding um, or dis self-discharging. So anyways, we uh, just thought that was a good opportunity to talk about some of this stuff. We have a bunch of other videos we got to do today, so we're headed to the field. And uh, if you guys want to see more about batteries or have any questions on batteries, we have a ton of different videos on YouTube, a ton of different um, podcast topics, podcast episodes, and then also, uh, of course, our blog. If you just type in Best Trail Camera Batteries in Google, our blog ranks number one for um most most hits or most educational whatever you, google thinks very highly of it i guess so check that stuff out appreciate all the subs the love on the youtube channel drop us a comment smash that subscribe button for us and uh appreciate you guys